Hello, YouTube. I'm hungry. And tonight, I'm having some tacos, son. You want some tacos, Jessica? Listen, guys. Listen. Listen. I don't care what she wants. I care what I want tonight. Yes. Tonight, I'm making some chicken and some bacon tacos. And we're going to douse those tacos with a little bit of ranch. They're going to be good. Oh, yeah. All right. Here goes our ingredients. Look. Of course, we got our oil, right? Everyone's got to have good oil. Let's put this over here because that don't need to be over there. All right. I got some ranch. And I got some ranch seasoning, all right? Together, we got ranch seasonings, all right? Bacon, some chicken, some SPG, some Obey. I like these ones. These ones are good. They're cheap. They're easy. And you know what? I think if you just, like, open them up, they last for, like, ever. You know? But you got to refrigerate them. You got to refrigerate these, all right? So, anyways. That's our tacos. You know what? They're going to be... Delicious. Alright, so we're going to start off, we're going to throw in our bacon, alright? Some of this bacon may look a little different. Alright, don't fret on the bacon too much. Some of it was sliced at room temperature. Some of it I got out of the refrigerator and sliced it there, right? So, we're going to start off with the bacon because it's going to take the longest, alright? Oh, you hear that noise? That's the noise of goodness. Oh my god. You know, my doctor, she probably tell me that's the noise of trigrisolites. That's alright, that's a big word. I had to learn what that word meant this week. That's all right. Check this out. We're going to screw this out just a little bit. Eventually, they'll unclump themselves, all right? We'll let that get all nice and hot. While that happens, you know, I've had my, my griddle on low, but we're going to turn it up just a bit. We're going to get this thing on fire, all right? So we're going to give that a minute. We're going to fast forward through some of this. Check out this stuff here, because this is the goodness, and we'll fast forward through this part. All right, guys, listen. That bacon, that bacon's starting to look good. Oh, my goodness. Just look at it. When it starts to look like that, don't be afraid of it, all right? It's not going to brown up too quick. But you want those greases, those fats, that bacony goodness to start rendering out of the bacon. You'll start to see some of it, like over here, start to turn brown on you. That's all right. We're going to add our bacon, uh, our chicken in now. And this chicken here, as I trimmed it up and cut it, I left it big. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to downsize all by itself. And I didn't get rid of any of the fats. So the fats are there. Now, if it was like a visceral fat, like it was a little harder fat, maybe I did trim that out. But for the most part, it's all there. Look at all that goodness. Look at that goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I'm getting fatter just looking at this here, guys. Listen, this chicken sat at room temperature for at least 10, 15 minutes, right? I took it out of the fridge. I let it do its business. I cut it up. And then I waited 10 or 15 minutes before I came outside. You know, so it's not the coldest chicken in the world. You know, you don't want to leave it out all day. It's going to, it's, bad things will probably happen. I'm not a food guy. I, I like to eat food and cook food. I don't know no science. But anyways, that chicken, just let it, let it get some, some brownness to it. As it starts to cook, you're going to notice this bacon start to cook more too. And son, that's going to be some good chicken. Remember, we have our griddle all on high. So this chicken's going to cook fast. Watch this, watch this. Oh my goodness, just look at that brown in that chicken already. Just keep it moving just a little bit. And then, at like no given moment, flatten it out. And just say, you know, we'll pause here. And we'll let you cook some more. You know, we're going to move this, oh, oh, no, so, no, come back here. We're going to move this chicken around just a little bit. And then we're going to flatten it out. We're going to let her cook some more. Oh, my goodness. Let's let her sit in there for a minute. Mmm, mmm. All 
Guys, you're going to notice that chicken started winding up everywhere. All this here is some SPG, right? You know, there's some extra letters in my SPG, but I just call it SPG. If you want to know what I put in this guy, you go and find that video. I'm sure there will be a link somewhere for you to find it. But put a liberal amount on there. Make, make it look good. All right, look at that. Look at, don't look at me. Look at that. All right? It looks good in there. You know what this is? This is ranch seasoning. I didn't have to read it. I just looked at it to make it look like I was reading it. Look, this guy here is ranch seasoning. If you guys want this and you can't find it in this, in the jar, go find the packet of like the, the dry ranch. All that, I think that's all this is. Now, I'm going to put a, a lot on there. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Just a little bit. Right? This is going to start our flavor right in there, right? And here goes a key, for me at least, you know, uh, you're going to find whatever kind of taco season you want. I'm not using taco season this time. I'm going to put some Obey on here. Why? Because, well, it's a, that side ain't going to work. It's going to work today. Not today, devil. Not today. Put some Obey on there. Make it look good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh yeah. There you go. There's my seasoning, guys. We're going to mix that in there. Look at all that grease. We're not letting that grease go away yet. Let that stuff cook in. Let's move it. Oh, you know, we all go through our own issues. At the beginning of this movie, I was not happy, all right? Not happy. We all have our own issues. You know, this video was supposed to be a hoagie video. But... My bread ended up being hot dog bun, son. You can't have hot dogs in a in a hoagie video. So uh, it turned into a taco video, which is okay. So here I am with my taco video. And uh, it's looking really good, too. It looks real great. I'm going to fast forward. We're going to let that sit. We're going to turn these burners down just a little bit. We just got to let that chicken cook in a little bit. After you're cooking outside for a little bit, and you should be able to do this in your kitchen too. You can like touch a piece of meat with a tool, even with your hand. You should know if it's cooked or not. Um, when you cook for yourself, that should be good enough. You cook it for other folks. Uh, make sure you get like a probe. I don't have my probe with me. And that's alright. And I know that piece is done. What I'll do beforehand though, watch. If you take it, I mean it's not done yet. But if you take this, and you go like that. Oh, look, there's no pink in the middle. Actually, there's no peak in this one at all already. So, uh, it's just about done. But I'm going to let it darken up just a bit. Let it sit in there for a bit. Spread it back out. Keep out a bit. There you go. Oh, my goodness. Don't that look good? Oh, my goodness. Gracious. We're going to let that sit in there for a bit. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. As that sits there, let me move this over to the side just a little bit. We fixing to get ready. Put our strainer in there. I love this strainer, guys. I don't know where I got this strainer from. I'm pretty sure it was Amazon. This strainer here, it's stainless steel. Boom. You know, I love it for my griddle because it has these little feet, little standoffs that act like a warming rack slash colander, I guess. But here we go. If you're inside your house, you can open that drunker up, put it on the sink. But this don't get used inside. It gets used here. And when it comes... It comes with these like little rubber knobs on it. Just take those off. There you go. I love this guy too. This is my buddy. My buddy the food mover. You know, uh, growing up mama used to tell me, boy, you eating real fast. I should just go out in the backyard and get a shovel. We in the backyard and I got a shovel, son. All right, here we go. Here we go. Inside the bin. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm Inside the bin. What's happening is some of those greases and fats that, you know, maybe we don't want to eat right off the bat. Inside that bin there, you know, it, let's be honest. I'm talking about greases and fat. This is bacon, son. That all it is is greases and fats. And we want to eat them just as well. But right now, if we were to look down in there, it's dripping. That's fine. I'm losing some of that extra grease normally. I probably, my doctor probably wouldn't want me to eat, right? And that's okay. Let me get all this in there too. Time to clean this up just a little bit, all right? All 
All right, guys, so I gave this side a little bit of a makeover. They're all on low. We're in business. Here goes my taco holder, number one, taco holder number two. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I can already taste these tacos going into my belly. I can. Oh, look. You don't want to buy the ones that are yellowish. You want the white ones. And you definitely always want to heat these up, all right? You can eat them just like that, but they ain't the same. You got to put some oil in them, all right? Well, here we go. Where's my oil at? I want to this oil somewhere. Here we go. Here goes my area I'm going to cook with. And I'm going to have to move that here in a second. Don't get me wrong. But here we go. Let's see. Taco shells. Boom. Number one taco shell. Number two taco shell. We ain't going to rush these shells neither. We let them sit there. They take their time. They'll do what they do. You know. Keep your temperature on low. We ain't rushing this. Mmm. 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 Look at this. Oh. Give us some time. Right? Oh my goodness. You'll start to see them. You'll start seeing little bubbles around the side. If you don't see those, maybe turn your grill up just a little bit more. Alright? You're looking for those bubbles. Start taking effect. You'll actually see the shell itself bubble up too. You see that one? It's bubbling up. Go ahead and flip that guy. Look at that. He's ready to go. That one not bubbling. This one over here is. Mmm. Oh my god, that's perfect. You're just looking to darken them up just a bit. Oh my goodness. Gracious. Heavenly. Heavenly. Look at those. You're going to do the same thing for this side too, alright? Same thing for this side. Hopefully you're giving me a spoon. Spoon. I don't need cheese. We ain't having cheese. There's no cheese on these. I need a spoon. A big one. All right, guys, look at that. We moved them over, put our taco holder back, turn that one down. We'll start loading these tacos in. Oh, my goodness. Look, this is what I like to do. They're not that hot. You can touch them. Oh, just lay them right on top. All right, and uh, boom. Someone took their time and energy and made these things. I think are these are real blackstone ones. Yep. So what I think they should have done, this is also blackstone. And they should have made it so this guy fit in that hole. You know, but that's all right. We'll make it work. That one's a little, little bit not done yet. Let's see. Let's see. How, that one there. We'll just leave that one there. This one's done, son. All right. Plug that guy in there. And guys, listen. If you want to do this with flour tortillas, you go right ahead. You do what you do best. You know, if you guys don't want to put as much... Uh, Bacon with your chicken, you know, that's blasphemy if you ask me, but you do you, right? You know, uh, if you don't have access to a Walmart, I don't know where you live where you don't have access to a Walmart. If you don't have these taco holders, uh, you can find other ones from other places. And it don't have to be the Blackstone ones, all right? It is, I kind of like the Blackstone ones, um... You know, as you add more tortillas, go ahead and add more oil. Don't be afraid of oil. It makes it look prettier. And today I'm using canola oil, right? And bacon fat. <laughs> so just put that in there. You see those bubble up? That means you're doing a good job. You know, don't rush it. You know, some of us wish we had this 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 uh, mammoth of a griddle. You know, this one's a 36-inch griddle. It's actually the biggest one Blackstone makes, which is flipping awesome. But, uh... You know, why not give me like a 54-inch griddle? You know, maybe the griddle that I want is going to require me to have like uh, two propane tanks. You know, give me the big one. Give me a lot of room that I don't need to work with, but I want because, well, I'm me, you know. I want big. You know, I call it adult size. This is a little fun size still. Give me a bigger one. Look at all this stuff I got on there. Huh. You know, it's, it's adequate. Don't get me wrong. This black stone, I like it. But it could be bigger. That's not done yet. That's not done yet. 
that one's done. Guys, yeah, you can kind of feel them too. Like this one's kind of floppy, but I bet you this one's not. See how that one don't flop around as much? So, if you can't tell by looking at the color, feel it. Know it. See that? That's definitely not done. This one's getting there. See, it's not as floppy as that one's going to be. It's still floppy, but it's not as floppy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Don't that look good? Give it some time. Let the flop come out of it. Mm. All that grease is still falling out of this one. Why? Because, well, it's still cooking in there. It's like a warming rack, not a cooling rack. So flip her over. Give her a little rundown. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Remember, when you use stainless steel on this guy, this stuff is still cooking. You know, it, it just because it sits over here inside of something, don't mean it's not cooking. I could have put a cast iron dish down, and that cast iron dish would get hot. So, uh, I'd be able to cook an egg on this inside of something else, you know. Let me just cook that a second longer. Give that a little second longer. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You know why that cooks a little second longer on that one? Let's pop, uh... Two more on there. Mmm. Look at that. Look at that, son. Oh, my God. Just come over here and look at this. You don't want to wait for this. Look at this. Here. Here, here. Take some of that. Take some of that. Oh, my God. Now get that off my camera. That's going in my video, too. Mmm. Mmm. You know, if I wasn't doing this for a uh, YouTube video, I wouldn't put them in this taco holder. Because why? I would just brown up the shells, throw them on plates, and then scoop some stuff on there and eat them. I might not even have a plate. I might just sit out here and brown up the taco shell and grab some stuff and put it in my mouth, boy. Yeah, well. I think you found part of the problem with that scenario. Come on. Yeah, that's another thing. It looks like it always will fit. It don't always fit in there on these last ones. So let's see. Let's see. Let's get her in there. It don't have a choice. Alright. That's alright. We'll get it in there. Let's see. Let's see. Where am I gonna put this at? What oh, pal? This will go right there. Look, guys, the Blackstone one, these things are not hot yet. And I, you know what? I don't think I've ever used it where it was hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle it like this. Give me this back so I can line some of these shells up. Just some OCD, right? I'm going to take this and just move it over just a little bit. All right? Mmm. Mmm. That looks good already. Guys, my wife says, where's the cheese? We ain't having cheese today, folks. But we're having ranch. So here we go. Let's see. And all I'm doing is trying to lock this thing in place at the bottom there. If they fall as I'm putting them in, that's okay too. You know, uh, I'll scrape this riddle top here in a second and uh, grab whatever falls. We got time. You know what I mean? Oh. Look at that. Look at that, boy. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. You guys, you guys don't want to watch me do all these tacos. You know, you're going to watch me do it. Don't get me wrong. But if you want to fast forward, there's going to be like this, uh, I guess they call it an index. And I'll show you what these look like once I put the ranch on them. You just scroll down the bottom to the index page. But look at that, son. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. You know, this guy here, he needs a few more pieces. Come on. Hmm. Get in there. Why are you rolling off like that? You're going to get mashed in there here in a second. There you go. There we go. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. All right. We're going to turn this burner off. We only need this one on over here. Only need the one. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. 
And guys, I don't use chicken breasts with these. These are chicken thighs. You know, my wife just said I should mention that. The thighs have a lot more, like, fat and grease in them. And I'm sure that's going to, like, if you a doctor, that won't make you happy. But, you know, um, for us normal mortals, uh, it makes me happy. So, so that's what I'm going to eat on today. Here goes a question. Am I the only one that can grab a pair of tongs that doesn't have to go like this before they use them? If you go like this, comment below, <laughs> all right? Because I bet you, uh, most of you all saw me grab this. It was like, he's about to go like this. Well, uh, well, I didn't, all right? So there you go. Look at that. Those are some good looking tacos. We're gonna have to clean the griddle top. Um, oh, oh, that tonka food now. All right, so check it out. We'll scrape that griddle top. These aren't going to go to waste. You just put a little bit of ranch on these guys. Oh my God, son. Listen. Fat people know things. And if you look at that food right there, you know I know some good stuff. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, you know what I know? That needs some more ranch there. Oh my God. All right, guys, listen. I got some hungry mouths upstairs. Are we going to bring these things upstairs? Are we going to eat, son? All right, guys. We're out. Take a look at that as we leave. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We, you know, that's harder or harder. Let's go. Bye-bye. Right,